students in this video we are going to discuss example 18 and 19 of trigonometry functions but before we solve the problem we need to understand what is the principal solution and what is the general solution let us see what is the principal solution and general solution first look at this general equations we know that the sine is 0 at 0 degree but the sine is 0 at many other values also like sine is 0 for all the theta is equals to n pi where n belongs to integers. Suppose if you put n is equals to 1, you get 1 pi and suppose if you put n is equals to 2, you get 2 pi and for n is equals to 3, you get 3 pi, for n is equals to 4, you get 4 pi. You can also put the negative values because even they belong to the integer, isn't it? Even the minus pi, minus 2 pi, minus 3 pi, for all these values of sine, sine will have a zero value. Sine 0 is 0, sine pi is 0, sine 2 pi is 0, sine 3 pi is 0, and so on. Likewise, cos theta is equal to 0. We know that cos is 0 at 90 degrees, but cos is also 0 at many other values. For theta is equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2, the cos is 0. For example, Suppose if you put the value of n is 0, then what you get is this whole, this 2n get cancelled like 2 into 0 will be 0 plus 1 into pi by 2, you will get pi by 2. Suppose if you put n is equals to 1, what you get is 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1, that is 3 pi by 2. Likewise, you will get 5 pi by 2, 7 pi by 2 and so on. You can also put the negative values. I didn't write the negative values here. So cos pi by 2 is equals to 0, 3 pi by 2 is equals to 0, cos 5 by 2 is also equals to 0 and so on. Similarly tan is 0 but tan is 0 at many other values also. For tan 0 is 0, tan pi is 0, tan 2 pi is 0, tan 3 pi is 0. We have the same value of theta for tan and sine. So you need to remember all these general equations. Okay, that was the first category. In the second category, what we have is sine theta is equals to sine y. When we have sine theta is equals to sine y, theta is equals to n pi plus minus 1 whole raised to n into y. And here also when you, when you mention n here, you need to define it also that n belongs to integers. Always remember that. Don't forget to write this, that n belongs to integer. You need to define it properly. Next. When cos theta is equals to cos y, you will have a theta relation, theta is equals to 2n pi plus or minus y, where n belongs to integers. Next, tan theta is equals to tan y, for that theta is equals to n pi plus y. These are all the general equations from which we will derive the principal solution. Now, what is the principal solution? For all the values of theta that we derive from this relation must exist between 0 and 360. It must be greater or equal to 0, but it should be lesser than 360. It cannot be equal to 360. Remember that. So that value of theta will be the principal solution. You'll understand it better in the examples. Example 18, find the principal solution of the equation sin x is equal to root 3 by 2. So here we need to find the principal solution of sin x is equal to root 3 by 2. Sin x is equal to root 3 by 2 can also be written as sin x is equal to sin pi by 3, isn't it? Root 3 by 2 is nothing but sin pi by 3. So, now this equation is similar to sin theta is equal to sin y. And to find the principal solution, we have the relation of theta that is equal to n pi plus or minus whole raised to n. And according to this equation, the theta here will be x and the y here will be pi by 3. To find the principal solution, let us put the values of theta, n and y. And n values we can start putting from 0, 1, minus 1, 2 and minus 2. We usually get the principal solution from these values of n itself, like we don't have to cross minus 2 or 2. We usually find the principal solution with these values of n itself. So let's start putting values in this relation, where theta is x and n, first we'll consider as 0 and pi minus 1 n is 0, y is pi by 3. So this will be 0 and this will be 1. What remains is pi by 3. So this is like, so pi by 3 is 60 degree which is greater than 0 and lesser than 360 degree. So this is one of the valid solutions of sine. Now let's put the another value of n and let's check. So here theta is x, n is 1, pi plus minus 1 and n is 1 and pi by 3. So 1 pi is pi and minus pi by 3. So that will be 2 pi by 3. 
Now let's check if this is a valid solution or not. Pi by 3 is what? 60. 60 into 2 is 120. So 120 is greater than 0 and it is lesser than 360 degree. So it is a valid solution. Let us check for the other values of n now. So theta here is x and n let us take as minus 1 and pi plus minus 1 and n here will be minus 1 and this y here will be pi by 3. So this minus 1 pi will be pi and to simplify this I have taken the reciprocal and pi by 3. Next minus pi minus pi by 3 that will be minus 4 pi by 3. Pi by 3 is 60, 60 into 4 is 240 but here you have a negative sign. You cannot have the values which is less than 0. If there is a negative sign this means that this value is lesser than 0. So this is not a valid solution. Let us discard this as it does not fall in between 0 and 360. Now let's put the next value of n and let's check. So 2 pi minus 1 whole square will be 1 and pi by 3 that will be 7 pi by 3. Pi by 3 is 60 and 60 into 7 is 420. So 420 degree is greater than 360 degree. So it is not a valid solution. So the only possible valid solutions are x is equal to pi by 3 and 2 pi by 3. Suppose if we continue putting the next values of n, still we will get the larger values. If we put the positive values then we will get the larger than 360 degree. If we continue putting the negative values then we will get the degrees lesser than 0. So these are the only valid solutions of sine. Therefore, principal solutions are pi by 3 and 2 pi by 3. Next, example 19. Example 19. Here we need to find the principal solution of the equation tan x is equals to minus 1 by root 3. Tan x is equals to minus 1 by root 3. We can also write it as tan x is equals to minus tan pi by 6. 1 by root 3 is nothing but tan pi by 6. This minus sign will shift into the theta. So tan x is equals to tan minus pi by 6. So tan minus pi by 6 will be minus 1 by root 3. Now tan x is equals to tan minus pi by 6 is similar to that of tan theta is equals to tan y. So for that we have a relation theta is equals to n pi plus y. Where theta is equals to x and y is equals to minus pi by 6. And the value of n it belongs to integers. So let us start putting the values of n from 0. So theta is what? Theta is x. Let's start the values of n from 0. That is 0 pi minus pi by 6. That is equals to minus pi by 6. So pi by 6 is what? 30 degree. And that will be minus 30 degree. And minus 30 degree is lesser than 0. So this is not a valid solution. Next, let's put the next values of n and let's check. Theta is x. Let n be 1, pi and the value of y is pi by 6. So when you simplify this, you get 5 pi by 6. What is pi by 6? 30. 30 into 5 is 150 degrees. So 150 degree is a valid solution as it falls in between 0 degree and 360 degree. Now let's check for the next values of n. So theta here is x, n let it be minus 1, and pi is pi and value of y is pi by 6. So when you simplify this, what you get is minus 7 pi by 6. So pi by 6 is 30 and 30 into 7 is 210 degrees. But you have a negative sign here. This will be lesser than 0 degree. So this is not a valid solution. Next, let us put the next value of n and check. So theta will be x and let n be 2 and pi and the value of y is minus pi by 6. That is equals to 11 pi by 6. So pi by 6 is 30, 30 into 11 will be 330 degrees. So 330 degree is a valid solution because it falls in between 0 and 360 degree. Pi pi by 6 and 11 pi by 6 are the principal solution as these are not the valid solution. So let us discard this. You can put the next values of n like 3, 4 but it will result in the value which will be greater than 360 degree. So I am not solving it further. Therefore the principal solutions are pi pi by 6 and 11 pi by 6. Hope you followed students. If you have any doubt, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much.